the Hart Foundation and Adrian Adonis versus the U.S. Express and S.D. Jones. Gorilla says, here's Jimmy Hart with his thoughts on his team of the Hart Foundation and Adrian Adonis. Jimmy literally just cackles and says, I have the ultimate trifecta. That's the I, whole thing. I mean, they, they had a few inset interviews here on the show, and every single one of them was one short sentence, and then it zoomed away. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck was the point? Like, Probably on the first take, too. Uh, yeah, like are these Hebner guys one? sitting here doing, like, you know, 50 localized promos, and then they got to throw in some fucking random line about something? Just a, a waste of time. So it must have been, like, new technology, and Vince wanted to use it. Mm, we can possible. have Jimmy cut a fucking promo in the corner of the screen during a boring match? Let's do it. So we have the Heat and Rotunda briefly. He tags in uh, SD. We immediately go to the six-way. Brett elbows SD Jones. Adrian gets the good night out of Rian, and he wins. Frenchie Martin had a better match than this. I did think that uh, Adrian looked good in there. Oh, he didn't do anything, but yeah. like he was right. flopping around all over the place. He, 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 yeah, he moved around and looked smooth as silk, and yeah, he was awfully great. I thought Spivey I mean, looked lost, <laughs> which is impressive because yeah. we're like three minutes. <laughs> Adrian's bumps. Adrian's bumps. He's such a big man, and he took he takes bumps so smoothly. It's He's just, he was spectacular. Yes, it's fantastic. He's out of this world. Resnick interviews the Rougeos. The World Wrestling Federation and Hulk Hogan are the best thing to happen in wrestling. We won the tag titles. Happy holidays. Don't drink and drive. Happy holidays. In it's French. not even that. It's like they do this. They do this interview, and then I think Ken was going to ask something else, but then uh, Jacques says, I- "If I may say one more thing." I was like, man, this must be important. He's, he's, what, what one thing could he possibly want to say? And he said, it's the holiday season. And then we would like to ask that none of you drink and drive. Hmm. I was like, that was a nice message. Yeah. But then, what? These things are so weird. <laughs> the baby faces always have to talk about drugs or. Libraries. Drinking and driving. Libraries. Smoking. <laughs> yeah, libraries. Forgot about that. Tito Santana. I love to read. He likes to read. This is a one fall bout. Amuse me. It's Bill Anderson versus Kamala. Jack Tunney in an inset says the top rope splash is devastating and banning the move is under advisement. In the meantime, Kamala will continue to cripple men with this thing. So Kamala pummels him a bit, body slams him, standing splash, top rope splash. I did note, Kamala has not spent any time under the learning tree, because he claims the ropes like private party, not like Chris Jericho. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now he climbs them completely differently. You know, this... Uh, yeah, got legs. What's his jobber's name? Uh, Bill Anderson. Bill Anderson. I see. This match went like a minute, and... You remember that Frenchie Martin match? Oh yeah, it was sure. great. Because better every time I think about it. And uh and and you know, uh old Coco lifts him up and drops him on his noggin. That that's a that's a that's a move where you put your life in another man's hands. Understood. You go up and he's gotta make sure you don't die. Right? Yeah, sure. Those yeah. those moves, you have to have trust in your opponent. Well, this Bill Anderson here. He gets to take the finish of King Kong Bundy. What is the finish of King Kong Bundy? Kamala. A Kamala? No. Different match. I'm thinking of the King Kong Bundy match. Okay. I'm going to continue my speech. Okay. <laughs> He's got to take the finish. It's Pedro Gonzalez, who you're thinking Is that about. what I'm thinking about? Yes. This fucking Pedro Gonzalez. <laughs> He's got to take King Kong Bundy's finish in this match. And what is King Kong Bundy's finish, I ask you all? The splash. The splash in the corner, the avalanche. Correct? Sure. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Well, unlike the brain buster, where you put your life in another man's hands, this avalanche, you get to take your own bump. Correct. You understand? Yeah. He's going to squish you, and then you decide what to do. Crumple mm-hmm. to your knees, fall face first out of the corner, or what? do what this fella did. Which is turn around, fall on your ass, and then your head flies back and hits the mat at 50 miles an hour, and you concuss yourself. That's what happened in this match. 
That was the shittiest bump I've ever seen <laughs> that you're allowed to take on your own. Like, normally you'll land on your ass and hit your own head when someone else gives you a Alabama slam, tree slam, whatever the fuck. This guy got to choose anything he wanted to do in the world after he got avalanched in the corner. And he chose spin around, fall on his ass, snap his head and neck back, and perhaps concuss himself. So, I hope he's all right. Remember that one time when Flair was, I can't even remember who he's in the ring with, but he, he got punched and he like marched in place, stuck his head up in the air and spit and then did the flare flop. I do remember this actually. Yeah. The most ridiculous and awesome thing all at once. And I cackled and cackled and cackled and uh, I think about it often. <laughs> Resnick interviews Jake Roberts. He says you always expect the unexpected. He does things different. Never boring. That's certainly true. Resnick points out, you have challenged Randy Savage for the Intercontinental title. I thought you respected this man. Jake says, I respect no man that I face in that ring. It's a business, my man. I step up front, take what I want, and the rest I destroy. It's Jake. It's always great. So Kamala's opponent, Bill Anderson, is still getting stretched out. And Kamala wants to oversee this. Make sure his opponent is taken back safely. So he's walking like next to the. Oh, stretcher. is that what he wanted to do? Safely or eat him? I got to make sure this guy gets to the back he safely. Was hunting his head. Yeah, yeah. So Bundy is coming out for his match, and Bundy and Kamala have a gut to gut stare down. Mm. Neither guy wants to move. It's about to get. It's getting testy. I don't think they were able to move. Yeah, no. There room wasn't in enough there. room in the aisle. Well, eventually, the managers negotiated a peaceful passage. Like, what the hell was this for? Did they do King Kong Bundy versus Kamala? Well, they might have done it on the road. Apparently, there were house shows. There yeah. was at least one house show where this match actually happened, which blows my mind. <laughs> Think about how that match must... If they did it once, imagine. <laughs> so the match is King Kong Bundy versus Pedro Gonzalez. Anyone want to bet on who wins now? <laughs> Brian spoiled this earlier. I did. Mm. Bundy kills him, wins the avalanche, gets a five count. They had a they had a guy in the front row that just loved it. <laughs> was he also fat? Do you like seeing the fat man squish a small man? He actually man? wasn't fat. No, I don't know. He that. had a big old stash, yeah. and and he was like, "Point, yeah!" It's like, wow, he sure liked that one minute match with an avalanche finish where the guy broke his own neck. The Snake Pit with Andre the Giant. Oh my gosh! Jake calls out Andre. Andre saunters on out, smiling, happy, not a care in the world. Very unimpressed with Damien, which is funny because a few years later, Damien gives him a heart attack. Mm -hmm. But uh, he looks at what, what do you have here, a garter snake? Jake's insulted. Uh -huh. yeah, he, he admits, might need a bigger snake to take care of Andre the Giant. But Jake repeats some information. Bobby Heenan was at the hearing. Andre confirms this. You were not at the hearing. Andre confirms this as well. So how did you do it? You were definitely behind it. And Andre looks at me and says, it was a mystery. And it's the, I did that in Russian accent for some reason. I was, say, <laughs> was it Bella Lugosi or was it Andre the Giant? So, so Jake says, well, if you say it's a mystery, we'll leave it at that because it's your book, big man. Because <laughs> Jake is terrified of the giant. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.